Let's make a quick switch to present-day living animals and welcome in Lynn Ochita from the Humane Society for Forever Friends. And who is this little one? This is Windy Darling, mm -hmm. um, a name from Peter Pan. Uh, the foster uh, mom said that it, she is just absolutely the sweetest kitten. She loves to hang out with you and she loves to play. She's actually from a litter that was orphaned. And mm -hmm. so the litter was bottle um, fed and then, um, of course, given lots of love and attention. In so do you have homes. not only Wendy Darling, but, but little brothers and sisters too? So or she are they had all a adopted sister, up? the sister that was with her, um, was it or will be adopted right. so I couldn't take her but I was noticing and I don't know if I can show this on TV but she kind of has this really cool little almost like feather marking in her back for yeah her. look at that little splash yeah. of white there I'm going yeah. the wrong way good job Eddie Good job. So nice. yeah. she, <laughs> she's amazingly sweet. Um, well, let, and me, let me get to know her a little yeah. bit while you talk. She, um, she is one of several kittens that we have available for adoption. Right. This is one very, very late kitten season that we're having. So we um, are hoping and counting on our community not only to adopt all of these kittens, but also, you know, open up your heart and homes to all of our adult cats. Because Why they, the late kitten season? Just because it's been so warm and we haven't gone just, into winter yet? Or? Yeah, I think mild winter um, and those that, you know, we kind of had that shut down on spay neuters during COVID. I think we're just kind of seeing that impact. Getting caught up. Let's yeah, call. and or not spayed and neutered. And so there are more babies out there. Boy, I can attest, this is a sweetheart. What a cutie. Got a little purr going. She's just snuggling up real nice. Yeah. Uh, You're killing me, you <laughs> um, We are having our Halloween pet costume contest. I think you guys are going to be joining us down there for that. Oh, we'll do. We'll be there. Yeah, yeah and that's on Halloween. Um, the costume contest will start at 5:30, and uh, we'll be down there from 4 to 7. It's old, going to be old, fun. Old Mill District. All right. Thank you very much for Lynn, for Wendy, <laughs> and for all of us here at Central Oregon Daily News. Thanks to our forever friend sponsor, Brookswood Animal Clinic. They give us the resources to find forever homes for animals just like Wendy Darling here every Wednesday on Central Oregon Daily News.